Yeah. Once again. L City. You feel me? Frustrated, man. Frustrated. On the way home from work, I thought it would work. You know, do you gotta be sitting still to hear those sneakers out? I don't know. Anyway, what it is, everybody. It's your boy Mike Rich. Short video. I'm mildly upset right now. Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all though, is having a blessed day today, man. Um, because y'all already know what this video about. Shock drop just happened, literally just caught my L. And um I was irritated because I jumped on there. Like I said, I should expect these things from Nike sneakers out at this point. I sh I should expect them. And like I said, it'll be time for me to get the shoe later on. But I'm a content creator, so I want the shoes now. So I can do a couple of videos on them, tell y'all my opinion on feet, vibes, all that kind of stuff. So I need the shoe in hands, in these hands, as soon as possible. Preferably my personal pair. So I was going for a 12. So I was looking at break live while I was riding home from work. And um, it was literally dudes jumping, like take, not, taking the L on their size, coming back in and grabbing my size. And I was there from jump. Sneakers, what I do? Nike, what I do to you, shouty? I was on there from two, like soon as the two o'clock hit, I jumped on there. And of course, it circled for a minute. It let me get in there. And if y'all don't know what shoe I'm talking about, of course, I'm talking about military blues, or AKA, what is it? Independence Day blues? Or uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Independable for Justice for All. What is it? Um, Industrial blue. Industrial blue. What they changed the number to? I can I know it began with an I. I can't think of the name of Industrial Blue. And me being a man of the um, DOT truck driver, I should have Industrial Blue. I work for an industry, man. Look, I even got the 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 uh, vote the vote yellow green uh, Carhartt guy on. I'm a working man, blue collar scholar. Y'all don't even want to take my dollar. Y'all about to make me holler and unfollow. The Nike sneakers out. Hey, you talking about bars, bars? Anyway, it was actually people taking L's on their size, jumping back in and getting a twelve automatically. Break was he was hollering out everybody who was saying they was hitting dub. It was so many people hit on the size twelve, hit on size twelve, dub on the size twelve, dub on the size twelve. People who entered late was getting size twelve. I was there right on time, and then get that size twelve. But I, I, it just boggles my mind that people was actually taking L's on their size, jumping back in 15 minutes after the drop and getting a size 12 like that. And I had been waiting out the whole 15 minutes. It's almost like being in line for something, right? And then all of a sudden, somebody jump you in line without you knowing. You know what I'm saying? Or being in line for something, right? Because you know, this just happened to me recently when we went to, me and my wife went to the, um, uh, a Kevin Kevin Hart uh, stand up in Atlanta. Being we was in me and my wife was in line, right? And it was raining outside. We had umbrella. We out there in the rain. We almost said forget this jungle like a hundred times. We we're like, man, we ain't forget this. We ain't. but I paid for my tickets. You know what I'm saying? So all of a sudden we in this big long line, and all of a sudden a second line opened up, and everybody ran to that line. Meanwhile, we had been in the line. For hours at this point, or at least an hour, hour and a half. That's just like, that's one example. That's just like being in traffic, right? You feel me? Being in traffic, and um, you waiting in the long line, man. You waiting in the long line of traffic. You being patient. I'm gonna be patient. Let everybody, you know what I'm saying. I'm just gonna be patient. And then somebody go way in front of you up in line and cut off the person ten cars in front of you and get in front of him and get let in line. That's how I feel right now, shouty. How y'all was hitting, how y'all was getting kicked out, taking L's on y'all side, jumping right back in and getting my size instantly. What the hell kind of, I mean, a lot of people say the bots was cooking, but a lot of people was taking uh, dubs on them. A lot of people was hitting, man. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I buy a lot of stuff with Nike, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think that got nothing to do with it. Sneaker Zap is a mystery to me, bro. It always has been. I'll probably still be able to get the shoe on release day. And I'm going to get the shoe some kind of way. That was the next shoe on my list. Military Blue Foes. They clean. They got them the OG cut. I didn't get um, Black and Red Foes. Cement fold, black cement, red breads. Them, I ain't get them because I knew I already got them 2019s. But I don't have the military industrial blue fours. I remember getting excited when the what the fours or the top three fours, whatever that shoe, because it had the back tab, the military blue back tab 
on the ass of one of the shoes. And I was like, shout out to boy, I can't wait till they actually bring these out. Not only they bring them out, they got OG cut, man. It was the next shoe on my list. Trying to be selective this year. Not buying a whole lot of sneakers. But that was the that was the next one on the list. Them, them folds was the next one on the list. Uh, like I said, I know I'm still getting them, but like I said, being I like calling myself a content creator. It sounds cool. Being a content creator. Being somebody who creates content, it's a lot of content creators out there too, by the way. It's a plethora of content creators out there, man. Everybody a content creator nowadays. But like when I first started, man, way back in good old 2014, 10 years in the game, um, it wasn't a lot of content creators out there like that. But I want to put videos up on this shoe, and I don't want to borrow them from nobody and call around. I want my own personal pair. Since I do want the shoe, I want my own personal pair so I can do the videos and hold on to the shoe for as long as I can without having to ship them back to somebody and do the own feet. You know, which I barely do anymore, but I start bringing, on certain shoes, especially shoes that are anticipated like this, I bring the own feet back. I'm at home too, by the way, I'm at the house. So anyway, um, closing thoughts. Uh, anybody who did hit on the Jordan 4 industrial blue, comment below, and um, congratulations if you hit on the shock drop. I haven't hit on the shock drop in a minute. Um, I'm not as bad as some people though, because it was, um, it was a person that was like, man, I ain't hit, a, I ain't hit on the shot drop since the uh, playoff eights. So I was like, ooh. But come to think of it, I don't even know if I hit on the shot drop. I, don't, I can't even remember the last shot drop I hit on. I think it was the, um, no, I took it. The, the, th the playoff 13s, even though them shoes sit, sat, sit. You feel me? Dust tan shouted. They didn't, actually, didn't, I thought that shoe would go on sale. Uh, playoff three, my I mean, playoff thirteen, my favorite Air Jordan thirteen ever. I thought that shoe would go on sale, but it didn't sit long enough to go on sale. But it sat like crazy. Even took an L on the shot drop for them, if I can remember. A lot of thirteens I take shot. I took shot drops on Flint thirteens, squeaky McSqueaky Stein Flint thirteens. I took an L on. I can't remember. I'm just trying to remember what I didn't take a shot drop. <laughs> I mean, what I didn't take a L. Now, some of my well, going all the way back to 2000 and uh, what 19, 18, when the bread, the last bread was that 2019, whenever, whatever year that was, I took a dub on the shot drop on that shoe. So they will give you, every few years they give you a shot drop, but this technically wasn't no shot drop. Not only did everybody was everybody in on YouTube, all the sneaker influencers, everybody was posting about the shock drop already so we already knew about it not only that but nike they they dropped the um notification early, like 10 15 minutes early before the shock drop and they even put a hint out 30 minutes before that talking about some or probably a couple of hours before that talking about who's ready for a shock drop and then it's catch that actually jumped got out of line they got kicked out came back and was like you know what i'm gonna get mike rich size Anyway, that's it, man. That's all I got for today. I've supposed to been doing my upcoming sneaker releases, a few shoes that we know that's dropping in 2025. I'm still doing it, but I got some other things I got to take care of today, so that video will probably be up tomorrow. Anyway, appreciate y'all for watching. Comment below if you hit on them. Thumbs up this video. Like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. Got to do a little R&B with a little violin because I'm sad. <laughs> Anyway, keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as the bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just my hit. With richest kicks, I mean my rich. Yeah, falling all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. Yeah. My rich fans shouted, that's what I got to give for. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Then we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then we gone straight up to the moon on them. Hey. Hey. To the moon. Yeah. All the way up to the moon on them.